Thank you for coming back. It's so great to see you in person. Thank you for playing Cold as Ice. Oh, thank you for, yeah, thank you for having me, as always. Very excited. Yeah, yeah. we've never played that game before. I know. I'm honored. I don't know if we'll ever play again. I mean, well, really. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I have to talk to you about this because you know I'm the biggest fan of Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah. He's yeah. my favorite. He was my first concert I ever saw. I think that's incredibly cool. I love that guy yeah. so much. And you are playing Weird Al in, yes. a, in a biopic movie. Yes. This yeah. is... Uh, it's awesome. I mean, how... It's, uh, I cannot yeah. wait for this. It's, it's the thing that it's... I mean, I've, I'm rarely excited to see the stuff that I'm in. I'm very, very excited to see that. Yeah. It is, I mean, you know, it's a fully insane movie. It's one of the most fun things I've ever done. And, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know when exactly it'll be out. Hopefully later this year. But, you know, it's one to, one did, to look forward to. How did it come about? Do you, do you, have you ever uh, met uh, no. Weird Al? No. So, apparently, I... Because when they... When I talked to Al for the first time, I was like, I'm immensely flattered by the idea that you would pick me to play you, but, like, why me? <laughs> um, and I'm, you know, I'm mystified, but excited. Um, and apparently, so, so, like, 13, 14 years ago, I uh, sang a version of a Tom Lehrer song on the Graham Norton show in the UK. Sure. Um, I sang The Elements next to uh, oh. Colin Farrell and uh, a, a very bemused Rihanna, I think, who was just like, who is this kid and why is he singing all of The Elements? Um, and I guess uh, um, Al saw that and was like, this guy maybe gets it, and so pick me to... Yeah, so I'm very, very lucky. I love um, that. And now I've gotten to, you know, I got to have, like, accordion lessons with Al, so it's... I can go to my grave. I will start Al. crying thinking about yeah. it. You, you brought us an awesome photo of you with Al's accordion. Yes, so I got, uh, I got lent Al's accordion for the month. Um, I... Uh, <laughs> that is... That is, uh, I, that was my last day with the accordion. I was very sad to be having to say goodbye to it because he gave me his own accordion to practice on for the month. Um, on day two of that, I broke one of the straps. So immediately, yes, that's how I felt. Um, and then immediately got them replaced. And he was, again, thankfully, he's like the nicest guy. So yeah. if he was furious about it, he kept it to himself. Uh, I, I cannot wait to see that movie. Uh, I, I'm so excited and so... Um, I think the casting is perfect. I love oh, that you cool. thank you said yes much. to that. Uh, you obviously have already been part of one of the biggest movie franchises in the world. Uh, and now fans of yours online want you to play Wolverine. Have you heard this? I have heard this. This is something that has, like, come up every so often for the last few years, and every time it comes up, I'm like, it's not true, there's nothing behind that. And everyone's like, ah, he said it might be true. And I'm like, no, I didn't. I said the opposite <laughs> of that. No, and no, then, no, like... you said the word true. <laughs> that, that counts. And then, like, every so often, I'll get, like, bored answering the question in a sensible way, so I'll make a joke, and every time I make a joke, I'm like, why did you do that? That's gonna set... So the other day, I was like, prove me wrong, Marvel. Um, and then that has ignited a whole thing. Um, but, yeah, I think it's because they're at, like, Wolverine in the comics is fairly short, so I think it's people going, like, who's a short actor? Him. He could maybe play it. That's, where, that's why, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah, I mean, I think you would be a fantastic Wolverine. That's very kind. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, any anything that implies the fleetingest similarity to Hugh Jackman is incredibly flattering, so yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm so happy you decided to announce it on our show that you are playing Wolverine. This is no! great. Yeah. So, no, it's not we're so again. excited. <laughs> come back. <laughs> come back when the movie comes out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, we had uh, we had uh, Rupert Grint on the show yeah. last week. Cool. It was great. Yeah. He's a guy. Best. Funny, we're talking, and we talked about obviously about the reunion. Yeah. The Harry Potter reunion is it was it 20 years? Um, yeah, it was 20 years since the first since the first film. I know. It's, uh, crazy. It, it, it's gotta be uh, it's gotta be exciting, or or is it odd? Is it yeah. is it uh, emotional when you meet your cast that you grew it, up with? Basically, it was kind of it was all of that. I mean, it was really it was lovely. It was so nice to see some people. Some people obviously have kept in contact with, and some people you haven't as much. And it was lovely to see them again. It was like people like um, the Phelps twins who. Uh, you know, when we started, they were like 14 and I was 11, and at that age, that's like a massive difference. And yeah, they're like 80, right, and you were right, three. Right, yeah, you're that's, like, that's how it felt. You're at the time. 14? Oh and my then, God! Like, and then now it's just like we're all just men in our 30s. Like it's all sort of flattened out in a really nice way. Um, yeah. So it was lovely seeing them. I was also like, I was, remind, you know, I was, I was kind of going by like, I'm very happy to have these memories, and this is amazing. Also happy it's not my day-to-day -day anymore. That is also, like, it, it's kind of nice. Yeah, um, you made it through. Yeah, and yeah. You, and you turned out okay. And it's just nice to be able to, like, celebrate it. Yeah, yeah cool. exactly. Uh, we were talking backstage, and I said, uh, do people just yell at you all the time, like, Harry Potter, or whatever? And you said that people yell, uh, Elijah Wood. Well, I got that one quite recently. Like, 
So there's a long running thing with me and Elijah getting mistaken for each other. It's rolled up. Originally, like Lord of the Rings and the first Potter film came out around the same time. Um, and we are both, you know, the idea of us is very similar. We are both like short <laughs> actors with blue eyes and very pale. The idea of us. Yeah, like, but we don't <laughs> actually look that much alike, but kind of uh, close enough. Um, and recently a guy just was driving past on the street in New York and I was just standing on the corner and he, uh, he just yelled, Hey Elijah, love your work! And I was just like, cool, thanks man, have a good day! And in my head the <laughs> yeah. thought process was like, well, I don't want to ruin his day. Like, he's had a nice interaction with Elijah Wood as far as he's concerned. <laughs> like, why spoil that? I don't know if he's a fan of me, so I, I, just I give agree. him that. Uh, you know, uh, we were looking through uh, old pictures. We were going to show pictures of you and Elijah. And instead, I found something that I think is even cooler. You signed a photo for someone, an autograph. Um, and I think this is really your handwriting, but you can tell me. And this is so kind of cute. Yeah. Did so you write? Is this your signature? This is, this is how I signed autographs from uh, between the ages of like nine and Magic. Or ten. Magic rules okay with a lightning bolt exclamation mark. Um, and it was either you got that or you got believe in magic or you got magic works for about for, from like 2000 to 2008. <laughs> you maybe? don't do it anymore? I don't, I don't do it. It's less relevant to like Xbox <laughs> and stuff. Like it became, it was yeah, like, exactly. this, is, this is weird to write this now. <laughs> yes, it um, is. Yeah. But yeah, that is my terrible handwriting. What I'm confused about in this is why I have apparently signed a photo of myself with no one else in it while I am on holiday on the Sydney Harbour Bridge. <laughs> I don't know who wanted that. I was like, can I have an autograph? Yes, but can I have it of you in front of the Sydney Opera House on a bridge? In Australia, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, like... it's, 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 well, it's a collector's item now. Uh, yeah, yeah, apparently. You, you can't get this anymore. <laughs> uh, I want to talk about uh, the, the Lost City. Yeah. I'm excited about this movie. Sandra Bullock, uh, Channing Tatum, both awesome people. Yes, they really Did, are. Did you, did you get asked, do you call Sandra Bullock Sandy? Um, I, it took me so long to get to that point with her where I'd just be, I, I'm I, not I, there. I'm not there. I didn't feel like I was there even after months and she would like, I really call me Sandy. Don't, you don't have to call me Sandra. Uh, but then I would say like in conversation with my friends, I'd be telling a story about work and I'd be like, and then Sandy said, and they're like, oh, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, oh, Mr. Big Shot. Right. right. It's like, yeah, it's guess... what she prefers. <laughs> she likes... I hate informality as well. <laughs> but it's, but it almost, you go, no, you're Sandra. I would even call her Sandra Bullock. I mean, I, 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 I yeah. It's, I would say it's, her full name. It's definitely hard to like, because I, I, you know, growing up on Potter, I obviously worked with a lot of amazing actors, but I, I wasn't necessarily familiar with like the, film, the filmography of Maggie Smith or Richard Harris in the way that like I grew up watching Sandy's films, and it, it was incredibly surreal. That's how you cool say her name now? Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> so, yeah. Hi, Channing. Hello, Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, but yeah. she is. But no, she's amazing, and one like, of the nicest get to human work beings. with her, and like, yeah, she's she's truly uh, amazing. So. Uh, how do we set up the film? Uh, um, so it is uh, a kind of like old-fashioned adventure rom-com movie. Um, uh, Sandra and Channing uh, 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 play love interest. I she is a romance novelist. Channing is her cover model. I am a crazy billionaire who decides to kidnap Sandra because I think that she has the key to finding some treasure. Um, and it's just it's a great fun movie. That's I feel like I've done it no movie. justice, yeah, exactly. but it's no, great. That's exactly it really right. is great. Perfectly done. Go Perfectly on. said. It's a great popcorn movie. I love it. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Daniel Radcliffe and Sandra Bullock in The Lost City. Take a look at this. Hello. Where am I? Um, you're on my plane. It's nice, isn't it? Hmm? The seats are made of mama llama leather. Well, I'm getting off your plate. Unchain me! That's your seatbelt. Did you chloroform me? People actually do that? Oh! Uh, oh. oh! Well, you know, it's a classic for a reason. <sighs> My body feels drunk. Yeah. It'll wear off in a bit. Come on, that's how you do it. Daniel Radcliffe, everybody! The Lost City is in select theaters tomorrow and everywhere, March 25th. Hey, hey, hey.